G'day guys, here we are at the number 11 chamfer guide. Um, for starters, the dimensions look a little bit small. So if we're over in the PDF, um, if we're in the PDF window, if you just want to hold down control and just scroll in, it'll just zoom in a little bit and that makes it a little bit easier to see the dimensions. All right, they look pretty visible. Let's get going. So rectangle, what's the footprint? 80 by 96. So click here, 80, 96, enter. Then we're going to push it up, uh, not 30, because that's not the full distance. We can see here it's 42. So let's zoom in and push pull this up by 42 millimeters. Okay. Now, a few different ways we can go about doing this. Um, I reckon the first one, oh, geez, this is a bit tricky. Um, let's see. Let's try and just, maybe we'll leave this L shape up the top. We'll see if we can draw that L shape in. So we can see that. We've got a chamfer along the back. We've got a little diagonal line of 10 millimeters by 10 millimeters, and that sort of wraps around the whole back uh, from along that edge and then back towards here. But we've got to imagine that the L shape goes all the way to the corner without the chamfer for starters. So we've got that flat spot there is 14 millimeters plus the 10 millimeters of the chamfer. So that's uh, 14 plus 10, which is 24. So from here, we're going to go 24 millimeters across, and then we can draw a line straight across there, 80 millimeters. And then let's see, we need to come back. How far is it? 24 millimeters. So 24 millimeters here. And then we can see that this gap is 10 millimeters. So we're going to go 10 and draw that across to there, 24, enter. So there's our little L shape. We'll trace that with a pencil. From oops, wrong spot. From there to there to there, and all the way across. Okay. Now let's lower this whole surface here down. What it says there, 12 millimeters. So we go 12 millimeters down. Now we've just got to put in basically another L shape. So from here, um, we can see we've got an L shape here. So how far in do we need to go? We can see that it's 24 millimeters wide, which we've already got along there. Um, we need to see how, how wide this bit is. So it doesn't tell us anywhere here, but it does tell us down here. So from that point to that point is 24 millimeters. So let's put from here, here 24 millimeters. We'll go all the way across. If we hold down shift, remember we can line it up with that, click. And then we'll go from there to that point there, which is 38, enter. So that's part of the L shape. We just need to now, because remember this L doesn't go all the way to the edge. There's a little gap here, and we can see that gap is 14 millimeters. So from here, we'll go 14, enter, and then we can, oh, I'll just draw it, finish off the tape measure lines to 24. Perfect, so there's our L shape that we need in. So we'll grab the pencil, trace our guidelines like that. Okay, now we're gonna remove, oh, we're gonna push pull down a further, how far does it say to go? Um, ah, okay, here's a tricky one. It doesn't actually tell us anywhere how far down it has to go. It tells us from the top that it's radius 14, so it would be 14 millimeters down to this point, but it's not telling us that. But, however, if we look over here, it tells us that this remaining part needs to be 12 millimeters thick. So, what I can do is grab the tape measure, click on that bottom corner, 12 millimeters up, make a mark, and we can push the whole thing down to that guide point. So if I hover over that, click, that's that part done. Okay, so now we've just recently learned how to use the radius tool, so let's put that one in. We can see the radius is 14, so we're gonna need to draw in some lines for that. We've gotta go 14 down from here, and then 14 millimeters in to get the center of that arc. Grab the normal arc tool, and same as before, click, click, drag it around to a quarter circle, click again, and we can push that away. Okay, good. Let's get rid of this little, uh, I guess you could call it a little mortise or something, just a little chunk missing there. Just a 14 by 14 square, and it's 38 millimeters away from that back edge. So from here, we'll click and we'll go 38, enter. And then if we bring that mark up to the top surface here, which is 12 millimeters away, we can grab the rectangle tool, and in this direction, type in 12, oh no, sorry, not 12, it's 14, comma 14, enter. 
that's that mark in and I can push that down that bits done okay now like I said we're gonna be using a new tool this time and that's to put that chamfer in and the tool is called the follow me tool the first thing I need to do before I can use the follow me tool is actually draw in that diagonal line okay so I'm just gonna use the tape measure to set it out so I need to go 10 millimeters in that way enter 10 millimeters down 10 and 10 and then just do dot to dot with the line tool there we go now if I were to I'll show you what most people would do and this is what I did when I first tried it um, I'd go to 10 in that way and then 10 millimeters down I draw a line diagonal to um, corner to corner like that. So if I push this one all the way through and then this one all the way through, what I get left with is this kind of, uh, it sort of stops me there. And see how that doesn't really wrap all the way around? And there's nothing I can do to get rid of that. I can't actually push it in any direction to get rid of that kind of flat spot. One thing I could do is I guess I could use the move tool. I don't know if it's going to work and move it to, uh, yeah, like I said, I don't think it'll work. Um, I was gonna say, I thought I could move that corner there. Doesn't work. So instead of doing that, we're gonna use the follow me tool. So I'm gonna undo what I've just done. Control Z, 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 there we are. And all I'm gonna do is the follow me tool looks like this. It looks like a kind of curve with a little arrow in it. If I click on that, I can then, it sort of works similarly to the push pull tool, but it's gonna be following an edge. If I click on this face that I wanna be removing, and I follow this edge and then follow it all the way over there. Click, see that? Now we have a nice chamfer that goes all the way around. Chamfer there, chamfer there. All I need to do is remove those two lines, right? So we've got a 10 mil chamfer all the way around the back there. We've got that little mortise in, we've got our radius. That looks like one pretty good chamfer guide. Okay, so I'm gonna edit, delete guides, file, save. Number 11 chamfer. Oops. Right. Cool. All right. We'll go file new. What's our next one? The number 12 chamfer support. Okay. Um, cool. I'll see you over there.